Hi, this is Tochi with today's class on a dream interpretation. What does it mean when you see your mother, your grandmother in your dreams? There are people who dream of mothers, especially when their mothers are no longer on this side. What could be the meaning of that? Why would we dream of our mothers? What is the me the, the message that is being delivered when we see our mothers in our dreams? So get your your notepad your pen your snack your drink and let us learn together what it means to see our mothers in our dreams thanks for coming back remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and think about joining if you're not already a member. There are many wonderful perks that members of the Dr. Tochi channel get when they become members. And I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up because that encourages me to produce more content like this. If you need to get a hold of me, click on the link in the description below the video. When you click on that link, you can also see my online courses. You can buy products and other services from me. Now, let's get to today's class. What does it mean when we see our mothers in our dreams? Mothers represent life, nurture, and they, re they represent a subtle form of protection. We know a lot of times our mothers will go back to us even when we are at fault, okay? There are some of us who were uh, lucky. I mean, not everybody was lucky, but some some of us in life were lucky to have those kind of mothers, you know, that will come and fight. And after fighting, then they'll take you home and whoop your ass at home, okay? So mothers can represent protection. They represent, when you see a mother your mother in the dream, that can also represent guidance. When she shows up in your dream and starts telling you something, pay attention. I can't tell you how many times people say to me, I shouldn't have done that. My mom showed up in the dream and told me not to do this and I did it and look at where I am right now. That should be plain. If your mom is showing up in your dream, regardless of whether she's on this side or not, she's showing up in the dream and saying, don't do this. There's a pretty good reason why she's telling you not to do it. And mothers often see things that children don't see. You know, there's an African proverb that, that an elder sitting on the ground can often see farther than a young person on a tree. An elder sitting on the ground can often see things farther than a young person on a tree. There's a reason for that. If your mom is showing up in your dream, giving you advice, giving your, you guidance, you might as well do well to listen. Listen. This can even apply even if during the daytime your mother is an antagonistic sort of person or she's the sort of person who doesn't even give good advice or she's out there, you know what I mean. On a spiritual level, we're often different from how we are on a physical level. So there are some things, some functions that a mother will fulfill on a spiritual level that she may not be fulfilling on a physical level. So don't be fooled. Even if you do not have a good relationship with your mom, you did not have a good relationship with your mom, you're not on speaking terms with your mom, mom there's conflict, there's, there's contention. If she shows up in your dream, we're talking about a spiritual dimension that you need to pay attention to. There's sometimes spirit guides, certain spirit guides will show up in the form or the guise of our mother in order to give us warnings or to give us advice or to provide extra wisdom, to provide secret knowledge. 
there are people who are devotees of the earth goddess, fertility goddesses, um, different kind of goddesses, female deities. They will see those deities in their dreams as mothers. Those deities frequently show up in a mother-like manner in the dreams of those devotees. You will also see this for those who are devoted to the Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary often shows up in their dreams like a mother. And when she shows up, she has an important message to deliver. I want to share this uh, little story. I had a, this friend many, many, many years ago. She's on the other side now. Um, she had cancer. She was young. She was in her 40s. And, um, you know, we're, we were, you know, I would go visit her, hang out with her. We were doing everything to, you know, keep her spirits up. Um, the thing had metastasized throughout her body. Um, she, she didn't pay attention to it on time. Uh, when she was first diagnosed, I think it was ovarian cancer, something of that nature. Um, she was like, no, I'm just going to do my prayers. I think she was Catholic. Yeah, she was Catholic. And she was like, no, I'm going to do my prayers. That's nonsense. You know, I'm going to pray this away. And so she decided to do the prayer route and not, you know, get chemo, not get any treatment. And uh, unfortunately, she went to go get uh, the opinion of another physician who supported her perspective. Let's put it that way. Uh, and again, maybe that. I don't know what transpired between them, but for whatever reason, that doctor supported her perspective. So she was trying to handle her cancer diagnosis with prayer, and that didn't go well. Okay. So when the thing had metastasized throughout her body, she had returned to the hospital to the oncologist and said, look, okay, uh, obviously my method did not work. Uh, I'd like to get treatment. And the oncologist was blunt. Um, he was a German guy. He was like, you're going to die. Just get ready. Uh, put your affairs in order. She was a businesswoman too. Put your affairs in order. You, you're fixing to die. Okay. And she was very upset. She was like, you're not sympathetic. You know, you're not empathic. How can you tell me I'm going to die? God be like, I got to go see some other patients and left. So the prayers... <laughs> started afresh they you know heavy prayers serious prayers were starting masses were being done on her behalf everybody was doing whatever it was they could and um she had like some pastors coming in and laying hands on her and praying and prophesying you're gonna overcome you're gonna get through this nothing's gonna happen to you you know and she was pretty you know she was like i said she was in her 40s and she was young she was pretty you know, and she had kids. And, um, you know, so all that drama was going on. And I remember one day I went to visit her in the hospital and uh, we were by ourselves. And, and she said to me, um, do you think I'm going to die? And How do you answer that? How do you answer that? So I went along and I said, look, I'm sure you will be healed. And in my head, I was justifying my answer uh, by saying, well, you're going to be healed on the other side. So I'm technically I'm not lying because when you get to the other side, you're going to be whole, you know. So I'm like, you're going to be healed. That's my position. That's my belief. That's what I see. Um, and that's my story. That's what I'm sticking with, you know. And then she said to me, Mother Mary came to me at 2 a.m. last night, in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, okay. And she said, Mother Mary came to my bedside and she stood and she was in all black. 
and she did not say a word. I tell you, I mean, I'm not Catholic. I went to Catholic school, but how do you even respond to that? You already know what that means. And I'm sure she knew what that meant. She just wanted someone to tell her that it didn't mean what it meant. A lot of people, when they're about to transition over, are met by their mothers. Their mothers will literally come into that room, come to the bedside to comfort them and let them know going to the other side is not bad, is not terrible. There is nothing to be fearful about. There are so many stories I have people who are transitioning and they see either their mothers or mother figures they believe in. I had an uncle, he passed at 93, and his mother, he was 93, but his mother kept coming to him for six months before he went and kept saying, what are you waiting for? Come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? Come on. His mother, he was 93, and his mother kept saying to him, come on, time to go, come on. So we need to pay, the point again is that when we have dreams about our mothers, we need to pay attention. Because usually when they show up in the dreams, there's an important message being delivered. There are some people who will dream of mothers when they're involved in conflict. And the mother comes in the dream to offer support and to let the person know, I am behind you. Go and fight. I am behind you. Just like in real life. I am behind you. Go and fight. Dreaming of mothers can be uh, quite emotional, especially uh, if we've not had a good relationship with our mothers or if our mothers died young or, you know, there was something that was, you know, uh, people who were adopted or given away or abandoned by their mothers, you know, it can be really, really touchy. But there are instances of people dreaming of mothers they never met. Maybe their mother gave them up for, for adoption while they were still infants, still babies, but they will have a dream and see their birth mother in their dreams. That is significant. That is significant. Don't disregard any time you see your mother in a dream, especially if she has something to say. Now, you can have a general dream of your mom. Let's say y'all had a good time. You went on vacation together or you went visit and then your brain is rehashing, you know, repackaging the memory. And it happens, you know, and you might dream of what had already happened during the day. That's not what I'm talking about. Our brain will do that. Like sometimes we went to a party, we had a good time, we met friends, we go to sleep later on and we dream of that party, we dream of the people we met and whatever it is that we did. That is different. There are people who would dream of their mothers but they don't see their mother's faces. Chances are that is something else trying to impersonate a mother. That is a warning. If you're dreaming of your mother and you can't see her face or her face is turned away, that is usually an impersonation. It could also mean your mother is not happy with you. There are some people who would dream of their mothers and their mothers would just be there staring at them, may shake their heads at them or turn away from them. But if the face is completely obscured or completely turned around, like the body is facing this way, but the head is facing that way, that is an impersonation. And you need to, you, you need to uh, take care of that. 
that means that there's an impersonation going on in your life. Mothers in the dream can also represent maternal ancestors. Make sure that you are spiritually aligned with your maternal ancestors, especially if the mother or grandmother shows up in the dream and they're silent. Go check your spiritual alignment with your maternal, your female ancestors, both on your father's side and your mother's side. I hope that you enjoyed this short class on dream interpretation, what it means to see your mother in the dream. Feel free to write in the comment section uh, what you think about this video. Remember again, don't be writing your personal dreams in the comment sections. We don't encourage that, okay? And for obvious reasons. So we'll end our class as usual. We're thankful to our creator, our guardian spirits, guardian angels, our spirit guides, ancestors, and all those in the unseen realms who love us like our mothers do spiritually. Ashe.